Hello! I said in my previous reading vlog, the one before Panelathon, that that would be the last one of the spring, but I remembered that this week is still May. I just hadn't really reflected upon it. So it's Tuesday the 28th. I just had a meeting for the theater. I am sweating because I just biked home. And uh, yeah, I'm doing a lot of stuff this week, so I thought I'd just vlog the last week. Because I think it will be fun. What I've read today, I finished reading, uh, listening to uh, Autobiography by Christina Lauren, and that was amazing. I gave it four stars. I think it was really, really good. I I very much enjoyed the characters, and it was interesting reading about religion in that way. I haven't really read a lot about religion before, and so yeah, that was fun. Then I started listening to uh, Book Handen på Riverside Street, I think it's called, by Frida Friebeck. And I'm not entirely sure what I would think of the story. I DNF'd it about after about an hour because I didn't enjoy the narrator. Uh, I've had this problem with Swedish narrators before, that they are too monotone. And not like that their voice is monotone, but their emotions are just the same throughout the entire thing. And I got very annoyed with that, because I'm used to excellent voice actors, I was about to say, narrators. And yeah, so I DNF'd that, and now instead I'm listening to Eve of Man by Joanna Fletcher and Tom Fletcher. Uh, are the authors. Tom Fletcher is uh, one of the members of McFly, which is just my all-time favorite band. And now he's writing books, and it's very exciting. So this is the first, I think, like, young adult he's written. Uh, he's written middle grade before and I want to read those as well But I want to start with this one because I wanted to read it so bad and So far it's really really good. It's about it's like a science fiction where 50 years ago uh, all children that were born were men and and uh, all girls were born either were died in birth or very early or like they had misca miscarriages and so for 50 years there was not a single woman born who survived in any extended period of time until this one girl Eve and so she's become like the literal savior of the human uh, race and uh, the story picks up as she's 16 and is about to pa be paired off with a guy and yeah it is really really good I'm really really enjoying it and I'm I'm ashamed to say that it's a lot better than I thought it would be. I did not expect them to write sci-fi, because I hadn't really read about what the book's about. And it's... oh, I'm loving it so much. I am physically reading Full Metal Alchemist Volume 3. I'm gonna finish that one and then I'm gonna pick up uh, maybe Hunger Games. Oh wait, Catching Fire again, because I'm very excited to finish that one. And then I also should finish some more books I started reading, So I'm reading so many books. What is happening this week? Why am I so excited to vlog? Well, tomorrow after work I'm going straight to Sundsvall uh, to go to Budavari with my sister and my aunt and my brother and my uncle. That order makes no sense. My aunt and uncle and my brother and sister. Uh, Budavari is this um, like sort of escape room experience but have like several different rooms uh, or like cells where in each room there's a challenge and you're gonna have to try and uh, finish that challenge within a certain period of time and it's either like a intellectual challenge or it's a physical challenge or it's both or it's like stamina and like yeah different kind of difficulties and each room takes like I know like 2 to 15 minutes um, there can be sh several like chambers in each cell in each room and it's really 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 fun it's something we'll be doing I want to say every year but no uh, it was a while when we did it almost every year when we were younger, but now it's been not as often. But anyway, we'll be doing it a lot, it's very fun, and that we're gonna do on Thursday, so we'll be going tomorrow after work. And then I come home Thursday night, and then on Friday I am I also have a day off from work. And then we'll go to Schleftio to go to Nordtrian, where I went last year and got my uh, English for Trilogy signed by Sara Merrick Elfgren. She's there again, but I already have all my books signed by her, but... Mats Stenberg, who also wrote this the Angle Force trilogy, will be there. And so, I actually planned to go on Saturday, 
because I thought I had to work on on Friday, but turns out I don't need to. So uh, well, Thursday is a red day. That's why we have like it's a few days off. Um, but anyway, but then I didn't have to work, and so um, also Matt Strandberg, who I wanted to meet at Nordrian, he was going to be there Thursday and Friday, and not Saturday. So then. When I end up having the Friday off, I decided to go then instead. And then on Saturday, I will be preparing for celebrating my birthday, both Saturday night and then Sunday afternoon, first with friends and then with family. And that is all the things I'm doing this week, and that is why I'm excited to vlog, because I think you're gonna like it. I'm very, very excited for this week. It's been a little bit stressful so far, but it's been fun. So yeah, I, I just thought I'd just let you know. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. I just stayed at my sister's place. We're going to be the boy tomorrow. And yesterday in the car we listened to uh, the song of Achilles and it's so far really good. I'm really enjoying it. I don't really know what I was expecting but I like it so far. I've also read like it two more chapters in Catching Fire which I had with me. It's very good. Um, and yesterday at work I read another few chapters of This Is Magic and yeah I haven't, got very, I haven't read very much in either well we did get halfway through The Song of Achilles I'm very excited to finish it tonight when we're going home and so now today we're going to Buddha Body and it's gonna be very exciting Hello, <coughs> it is 
Friday night, afternoon, what time is it? It is uh, 20 minutes to 9 at night. Um, so yesterday I went to Potobori with my sister and my brother and my aunt and uncle and it was really fun. We uh, succeeded with all the rooms but one. So that was very fun and then we had dinner and we went back home. Um, I only did a little bit of reading uh, on uh, Wednesday night before going to bed. I read some of, the, of Catching Fire. And then today, this morning, we left early to go to Nordtrian in Trilefteo. And it was very fun. We'll be there all day. I'm wearing a wig because I was like cosplaying. So I was like soft cosplaying or Disney bounding or I'm not entirely sure what the correct thing is. I was dressing inspired by a character. Anyway, um, I might do a video about that. I have a few that I want to do. I never go to conventions anymore, so. But I'm gonna show you what I bought. I bought, if I can get these in order, a trilogy called, the first one is called Mantor. Uh, series is Til Esper Esperani, and it is by Carolina Bielerstedt Mikos. This is a high fantasy trilogy about um, the regular people, not like the heroes and the kings and queens and the dragons, it's just about the regular folk in a high fantasy world. And so the first book is about a uh, count, I think, he's a uh, noble, and when he's about to get conscripted to the war, he flees and joins a theater troupe uh, where he hides from the army. The other two I have no idea what they're about, but they are called uh, Larona and Dore. So it looks like they might be about different characters because the main character of this first one is Mantor. Uh, and they are really pretty. It is. I have all three books in the series. They're so pretty and so, so very nice. And I'm very excited to read these. I want to read more Swedish fantasy, so I'm very excited about those. Then, whoop, I bought. Oh my god. Another two books by Carl Jonsson. Uh, these are by Sofie Hjort and Carl Jonsson. The first one is Asgård, Sagor ur den nordiska mytologin, stories from the Norse mythology. And you see by the art style, it's the same kind of art as in the Vey. And he sighed it and drew me a giant uh, with a broken uh, horn and he's really cute. Uh, and then I also bought Olympen, Sagor ur den greka mytologin, Olympus stories from the Greek mythology, and this one is also by Sofie Ort and Carl Jonsson, and in this one he drew me a tiny cyclops and also signed it. And oh, he's saying something, Mot Olympen, is the guy saying, to Olympus. So I bought those two, and then I also got two books signed, I had my English first trilogy with me again, so they are. They were already signed by Sara, but now I've also gotten them signed by Mats Strandberg, all three of them. And then also, this one has also been signed by him. And I also had two books that are just by Mats Strandberg. I have Färjan, where he wrote Till Ida, I don't know if I was on 19. Hoppas du haft en trevlig tour. Good to see you at Nordtrian. Uh, hope you had a, a good ride uh, there. And then his signature. And then till Ida, hoppas du ska gilla undergången. Hope you would like the apocalypse. It says, because it's true about the apocalypse. Uh, so, now I have so many sign books. I'm very happy about that. And then, when I got home, I got them a package, because I ordered a book, some books for myself, for my birthday. I actually don't remember which book this is, because I ordered two from this Swedish, um, sort of like thrift books, uh, it's like a second-hand bookstore, uh, where different sellers can put up books they're selling. Um, it's not, it's, yeah, whatever. And so about two books from different sellers, and so one of them has arrived. And it is, oh my god, yes, Odin's Bond by uh, Celia Pettersen. Oh, it's such good quality. Because I had the second book in uh, hardback, but they stopped printing them, and so I found this one secondhand instead. Now I just need the third book. I also want to read the third book soon. 
and it is so pretty and now I have a matching pair of those. And that is uh, everything I had to say about this. Yeah, now I'm gonna do a shopping list and uh, go to the store probably because I have some baking to do for my birthday. And uh, yeah, that is what's been going on. So, so when Inge left you, I went to Nordsjön, which was the plan, but also I went to VAF, which is Vesterbottens Amatar Film Festival, uh, Vesterbottens Amateur Film Festival, it's the same thing in English, uh, where a friend of mine had a movie up where he had the, he, he wrote the script and he directed and, and he wrote the music. And it was a great movie, it was a horror movie, which I really, really don't like. So I watched maybe half, because I was looking away from the screen a lot. But it was really, really good, it was really fun to see what he's done. And and it was very, very fun. And yeah, and then we went to Nordrian, and I got all the books signed, and I bought all the books. And we played some games, and we just walked around, and it was very, very fun. I've had a great time, and yeah. I haven't really been reading a lot. Because I haven't had the time. When I got home last night, I was just laying on the couch, just being, Ugh! which was kind of nice too. So, yeah, bye. Uh, good morning. It is Monday morning, and I thought I'd wrap up this vlog. Uh, so this weekend I celebrated my birthday twice, first with friends and then with my family, and then last night I was exhausted because I've been doing a lot this long weekend and so I'm just flying around reading. I am a couple of pages from finishing uh, this magic and even though it's already June I'm gonna wrap this one up as well for the spring wrap up just because I'm not gonna keep this book around for another three months. I did really enjoy it. I'm like I said a few pages from finishing it but I uh, for the last like 200 pages I've been skipping one of the characters' perspective, because I just am really not enjoying it. So you're following uh, Tayen and Rael, and the, them discovering, as Beck says, them discovering that magic isn't what they what it seems like. And um, so Tayen's story is an adventure. Uh, he's an academic. He, uh, yeah. Without spoilers, his story is like an adventure. Um, he travels and stuff. And you'd think that'd be fun, but I was just really, really bored the entire time. So, not really enjoying that. And Royale's story is her falling in love. It's a romance. And I just... I don't... I enjoy Royale's parts on their own. But considering that the guy got to go on an adventure and the girl just falls in love... It's very annoying, and so also that the book is written, so the first 10 chapters, the first 120 pages are just tie-in, and then another 120 pages with just Raya, and then it goes on like that for quite a while, so there's very big chunks of this one character, and so I would prefer it to be like every second chapter or something, because I get very bored with tie-in very fast. If it's been like every second chapter, I think I would have just continued reading. I'm probably going to give it like a two stars. I'm I'm really not liking it, but now I only have like a few pages left, so I'm gonna finish it tonight probably. Um, I haven't really done any more reading because I've been busy uh, cleaning the house and meeting people and going to Buddha Boy and all of that and she left too. So um, yeah. Um, so this is my actual last <laughs> reading vlog for the spring. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. I upload them on Saturdays and sometimes Thursdays. And I will see you in my next video.